I almost decided not to do a video. Almost. Almost. Why? Because talking about Marcolis, it demands perfection. Talking about Marcolis demands perfection. I didn't want to do a video to talk about him and not being prepared, not having worked seriously on the video. Not that I didn't want to do it. I absolutely wanted to do it. This morning I was very excited at the idea. I had an idea in mind. Actually, I have several ideas in mind. The problem is the, the state of mind I was at the end of the day. I spent really the day at the franchise tax board. I'm not going to explain to you what it is. <coughs> Uh, it's related to taxes. Well, I'm not going to go in the details because it's crazy. It, it's really crazy. <laughs> it's a shame. That's not the, the matter. It's just that when I am in in situation like this related to taxes or difficulties in work or the immigration or things like that, it puts me in a state of mind which is absolutely the opposite of creation and uh, inspiration. I, I feel completely emptied and I'm like if someone had uh, hit me on the head so I have no idea coming and I'm completely knocked out. So I was in the bus thinking about that, thinking they got me. They prevented me from doing a video and I found myself in a kind of position of victim, you know, like it's because of them, I mean the administration. And then I thought, no, no, they are not going to decide if I do a video or not. And I decided once I was at home, the time of the trip in the bus, the bus that is another craziness I drive usually actually I didn't take the bus a lot in Los Angeles I took it today because it was direct to where I was going in the downtown which is not the most beautiful place in Los Angeles but I can drive because I can't renew my driver's license because I'm waiting for my extension of stay so I've not been driving since Five months, five months without a car in Los Angeles, you imagine. Fortunately, I don't have to move a lot, but it's kind of complicated. Anyway, I'm not going to complain about that. Who cares? I never walked as much and it's very good for my health. So good for me. Anyway, I was in the bus thinking about it. And once arrived at home, I thought, no. I must do a video and I want to talk about Marcolis and his music and and why? 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 Because it makes me feel good, you know, and after a bad day, I must feel good. So I must talk about that. I must talk about him, his music, his creation, all what I discovered about him since more than one year now. I knew him before, but I've been studying his way of working since more than one year. First, it made me paint again, what was kind of unexpected because I was not painting anymore since uh, nine years before. And now I'm starting doing craft again. All that thanks to him and his music. So I have to honor that. And any taxes, any office, any administration, any... Uh, immigration situation is not going to prevent me from doing so. Tell me to relax, I just so I arrived here, I took the book that I'm kind of more or less reading, uh, I'm not doing advertising 
uh, for this book. Uh, it's interesting for me because I'm doing videos about Tok Tok and not having this book while I'm talking about Tok Tok would be a little weird. But honestly, if you are interested in Tok Tok, buy their music, not the book. The book is something else. Anyway, I was reading this article, um, this interview written by Warren Livesey. Livesey, I don't know how we pronounce it. It's the guy who co wrote the Marcoli solo album. Actually, he made kind of the work of Tim Fris Green. But Tim Freeze Green was not there anymore, and they did that uh, together. Well, mostly Marcolis, but helped with this guy. They composed together, arranged together, recorded together, and um, decided. So I'm not going to read all the article because it's rather long. But basically, he explained how they were working. They have been jamming, improvising. Then they have spent a lot of time editing what they have done until they found exactly the perfection, what Marcolis wanted. Then they have been recording in a studio, so they wanted um, to do it a little in the spirit of Miles Davis, but in the same time uh, at the Miles Davis uh, period, they were recording all the musicians together. I, I, you, most of the people who are watching me probably are too young to remember that, but when I was a child, people were recording all together because there were no uh, so many tracks on the recorder. So they had, uh, I think that they had two or at best four tracks. So. They had to record all together and they were, the musicians were separated by kind of partitions, you know, it's not walls, but it's things that you can move. Because, for example, when the singer is singing, if you can hear the drums in the microphone of the singer, it creates problems. So they were separating the musicians, but still they were recorded all together. Of course, Marcolis wanted to record the musicians separately because it's more practical, it's more convenient like that. And then you can uh, correct one musician and keep the other one, you know, it's, it's better. So they found a way to give the illusion that everybody, that they were all recorded together by placing them in the room and they kept their place. The sound uh, of one musician arrives by a different way from another one. If I understood well, you must read the article. But at a point, this guy, so warm life say, is saying that once everything was recorded, Macaulay's called him often to because he wanted to change things and this was not okay and this was not okay and this guy couldn't understand what Marcolis didn't like he didn't understand what needed to be changed and when we read uh, the article the interview it makes look Marcolis like he's he's kind of a maniac discussing everything and um, and it got on my nerves. <laughs> not, I'm not Marcolis, so I don't know why I feel kind of... Uh, I feel that like an aggression, but it's not... They are not talking about me, they are talking about Marcolis. I think that somehow it touched me because my first reaction has been this guy doesn't understand anything. He doesn't understand. An artist... I think uh, hear nuances or see things that someone else maybe is not going to see. So probably this musician was very honest and uh, sincere by saying that he couldn't understand what Marcolis was asking for, uh, what was the difference. But I think that in the Marcolis' mind, there was a difference. And actually, at a point, uh, this musician, this, this composer says that the result was maybe a little softer 
than what they recorded. So there was a difference. What I mean is that someone who creates in art or in music, in whatever it is, may look maniac, but also it's not stupid. It's not ridiculous. The artists see or hear the difference and that's why the result is exceptional at the end because nobody else would be able to do what he does. So finally Marcolis uh, finished the album alone uh, how he wanted. And I'm not saying that I'm as a genius as Marcolis, no, but I have sometimes a tendency to be a little maniac like that, except that nobody cares and nobody's talking about my fantasies in a book. <laughs> but when I read that, I felt kind of attacked because that is something which could happen to me. So I thought, no, he's just a perfectionist. He's a perfectionist. And I think it's good. It's a quality to be a perfectionist. Then I read on internet, it was an article written in Wales. I will try to find it. I think that I kept the link. If I find it, I will write the link below in the description box. The guy, the journalist, was saying something like, it's maybe not exactly that, but he was saying something like, Marcolis is so perfectionist that he must probably, he must probably be trying to find the perfect silence still now. That's why we get nothing. He was saying something like that. And, uh, well, it, it's funny, uh, it made me laugh. But in the same time, I started wondering, maybe that's right, maybe it's true. Maybe he's trying to find something perfect and he can't find it and that's why we have nothing. And then I started wondering, is perfection exactly good? Tonight I almost didn't make a video because I thought that talking about Macaulay's had to be perfect. And because of my quest of perfection, I almost didn't do a video. Maybe it would have been better that I don't do a video. But I'm wondering if sometimes we must not also do things which are not especially relevant and not especially great, which are like drafts, you know, where it's not top notch, you know, but maybe it helps us to go to something more perfect. I'm not saying that all my videos are perfect. They are far from being perfect. They are just what I want. I manage to reach something, a vision that I have, which is probably far from being perfect for someone else, especially for the technical aspect, because I'm filming with a very bad camera, sometimes my phone, sometimes another camera, which is not really good. But I'm already glad that I have the possibility to film. And uh, I think that it's chiefly what I say that is important later in time I maybe will be able to buy a better camera and the image will be better anyway all that to say that I know that I'm not perfect but I try to reach perfection with this video today the perfection is not here I'm not even sure that uh, what I'm talking about is really very interesting and relevant I'm just sharing with you my mood today because it was kind of a, an incredible day when I spent like almost six hours in an office. For someone like me who is more, I would say, attracted to art and creation and inspiration, you imagine what are six hours in an office in an administration office it's a nightmare it's 
violent. It, it breaks me down. I was not myself once outside of the building. I was kind of completely lost and the world seemed to me absurd suddenly. But I thought of the so many times that I didn't do my art because the day was not perfect, because I was not in the mood, because I had to be top or nothing at all. So Marcolis in his creation has to be top or nothing at all. That's probably why we have nothing at all, because he thinks that he can't be top on the top, at the top. And that's almost what I did today. I almost decided to know. I'm not going to talk about Marcolis because it can only be perfect. But then I, I listened to this. I watched the Such a Shame video, as I always do when I feel bad. This, it's, it's my life. And I thought, you know, it's not the most perfect album in his career. I mean, it's a very good album, but I would say that um, we can't say it's the best. They are all the best. They are all very good. And I'm wondering if the quality is not better and better and better with time. Um, concerning Marcolis. However, even if it's not perfect, I absolutely love this one. I have a kind of a emotional relationship with this album. It's, it's my home. This album is my home. And when I listen to that, it's kind of if I was in the same day in two different worlds. The world of nightmare and the world of love. For me it's love, you know love. I feel loved. When I listen to that, I feel loved. And I thought I don't want to spend one Friday evening, we are Friday, not talking about one of the things that I love the most in this world which is the Marcolis and Tok Tok music, which helped me to create again since uh, more than one year now. And it's my duty to say to the world, even if it's not perfect, even if what I'm saying is not very interesting, maybe it's, maybe it's only interesting for me, I don't know. You know, we have not a lot of artists like him. I feel the need to honor him as much as I can. I think he's completely underrated and I think that I must rectify that. I felt underrated today. I felt underrated because I work like crazy and in spite of that it's never perfect, it's never as it should be. This person who made this career with his band is according to me completely underrated. I can't maybe rectify for me but maybe I can try to rectify for him. I'm kind of in a mission. I'm not paid for that. Nobody asked me to do that. I do it just because I believe in it. I believe in it. He gave me life again, you know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a cat who wants to participate here. His music gave me life again. It's the least I can do for him. I will do more videos about him and his music, probably much more interesting than this one. I realized that it's not the best that I did. My question is just, is perfection always appropriate? I understand that he wants to reach perfection. In the same time, he says that uh, what is improvised, uh, what is spontaneous, has a, an inner quality that you can find in repetition. So in the same time, if he's trying to find 
the perfection by trying and trying again and changing and editing then it's not the it's not the improvisation it's not the first um, throw anymore so i'm wondering i'm wondering why he's not back I, I, I actually, I, I, I think we all, and I, I really miss him. I really miss him. Tonight, I was really, I was, I'm sorry. I was especially sad tonight to realize, to understand that he won't come back. I would like him to be a little less perfectionist and the, to accept the possibility not to do perfection but I know that for him it's probably very hard and we wouldn't have uh, this quality that we have if he was not like that so what is the best I don't know I am especially emotional tonight probably because I couldn't spend five minutes in my day just to dream a little I don't really have a lot of time to create and to dream and to, to do beautiful things. I think we need more beautiful things in this world. Sometimes the world is really, really ugly. I didn't plan that, sorry. I think that it's probably the, the stress of the day and I was so scared yesterday. Uh, it's ridiculous to be scared by the administration, but you know, it's, uh, it's really a pain in the ass. I'm sorry to say that, but <laughs> that's exactly that. Okay, so um, I will leave you here. I'm sorry for this video. I just had to talk about it because I was kind of it was kind of boiling in my chest and I don't want to to be sick. Sorry for this really bad video. I'm perfectly conscious that this video is really bad and I'm sorry. It's not going to become usual that I'm so bad. I will continue to do my best as usually no matter what the circumstances are as long as my family is fine i would say for the people who subscribe to my channel only for the marcolis uh, um, subject maybe you saw that i made videos about a little more videos about art and craft maybe the people who came to my channel are more interested in marcolis than in art and craft i'm sorry about that but the actually the purpose of my videos is to show how this music can push me to create art and craft so uh, i see a link between the both for me my art my craft and marcolis music go together because uh, not because his music is my creation but it's thanks to his music that i paint again so of course it has uh, i'm sorry my cat is uh, doing i don't know what it's a mess. It's the mess of video. <laughs> the, the very, it's the very messy video. Anyway, <laughs> all that to say that uh, for me, in my mind, art and craft and Marcolis and Talk Talk music, all that, it's the same process because I started to paint and to create again thanks to his music. So. Once I will understand why, I will tell you. Right now, I still didn't understand why this music and not another one. <laughs> it's like that. So, um, if you don't like the videos about art and craft, just don't watch them. But I will continue with Marcolis and I will continue with my art and craft. For me, it's the same process. See you very soon. And uh, sorry again and bye-bye. Ha, 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 ha.